Welcome! Today we'll be going through question 8 from the Australian Maths Olympiad 2019. Let n be 16 to the power of 3 to the power of r, take away 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r, plus 1 for some positive integer r. Prove that 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 is divisible by n. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. Let y be 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r. Then we have that n is equal to y squared minus y plus 1. Hint number two. Does y squared minus y plus 1 remind you of anything? Factorise y cubed plus 1. Hint number 3. You may find that 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r plus 1 plus 1 is congruent to 0 modulo n. We will be done if we can show you that 2 to the power of n minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo n. So we may try and make 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r plus 1 is similar to 2 to the power of n minus 1 is possible. Hint number 4. Suppose that we have some x such that 2 to the power of x is congruent to 1 modulo n and that x divides n minus 1. Then 2 to the power of n minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo n. Why is this the case? Hint number 5. Induction or lifting the exponent lemma can help to get from hint number 4 to a solution. Solution. Let y be 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r. Then we have that n is equal to y squared minus y plus 1, since 16 to the power of 3 to the power of r is equal to 4 squared to the power of 3 to the power of r, which is equal to 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r squared. Notice that y squared minus y plus 1 appears in the factorisation of y cubed plus 1 y cubed plus 1 is equal to y plus 1 multiplied by y squared minus y plus 1. So we have that y cubed plus 1, which is equal to 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r plus 1, plus 1, is equal to y plus 1 times n. And so 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r plus 1 plus 1 is congruent to 0 modulo n. And so 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r plus 1 is congruent to minus 1 modulo n. We want 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r plus 1 congruent to minus 1 modulo n to look as similar to sort of 2 to the power of n minus 1 equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r times 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r minus 1 congruent to 1 modulo n is possible since we are trying to show that 2 to the power of n minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo n. So we may rewrite 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r plus 1 congruent to minus 1 modulo n is 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of r plus 1 congruent to minus 1 modulo n. And squaring both sides, we get 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of r plus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo n. Now, if we can show that 4 times 3 to the power of r plus 1 divides n minus 1, so 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r times 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r minus 1, we will be done, since we can then write 2 to the power of n minus 1 equal 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of r plus 1 to the power of n, which will be congruent to 1 to the power of n which will be congruent to 1 modulo n. Now, since 4 divides 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r, we need to show that 3 to the power of r plus 1 divides 
4 to the power of 3 to the power of r minus 1, and we will be done. We will present two ways to show that 3 to the power of r plus 1 divides 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r minus 1. First method is induction. So the base case is r equal to 1, and we have that 3 to the power of 2, which is 9, divides 64, take away 1, which is 63, and 9 divides 63. Now on to the inductive step. Suppose that 3 to the power of r plus 1 divides 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r minus 1. We want to show that 3 to the power of r plus 2 divides 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r plus 1 minus 1. We see our factorization of some p cubed plus 1 again, as we have that 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r cubed minus 1 cubed, which is equal to 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r minus 1, multiplied by 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r squared, plus 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r plus 1. And we know that 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r minus 1 is divisible by 3 to the power of r plus 1. So we just need to show that the second bracket, 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r, squared plus 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r plus 1 is divisible by 3 and indeed it is since it's congruent to 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is congruent to 0 modulo 3 since 4 is congruent to 1 modulo 3. And so 3 to the power of r plus 2 divides 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r plus 1 minus 1 and our inductive step is complete. Now on to our second method using the lifting the exponent lemma, which says that for some prime p, where p divides x minus y, but p doesn't divide x or y, we have that vp of x to the power of n minus y to the power of n is equal to vp of n plus vp of x minus y, where vp of x is the largest power of p that goes into x. So v3 of 9 is equal to 2 since 3 squared is 9. So we have that v3 of 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r minus 1 to the power of 3 to the power of r is equal to v3 of 3 to the power of r plus v3 of 3 which is equal to r plus 1. So 3 to the power of r plus 1 divides 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r minus 1. And so we have shown that 3 to the power of r plus 1 divides 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r minus 1 twice, and we have that 2 to the power of n minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r times 4 to the power of 3 to the power of r minus 1, is congruent to 1 modulo n, and so n divides 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus 1, which is what we needed to show. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below, and see you next time.